As a spiritualist minister and teacher, from time to time I'm asked the question, what is meant by spirituality? And I answer this way. Do you disagree there's more to life than meets the eye? Yeah, me neither. Spirituality is that realm that lies beyond what the physical senses can perceive. Today I will show you, I will share with you exactly how you can know and know that you know from first-hand personal experience what lies beyond the delusions of the outward senses. Because there's only one place you're going to find this answer. And that place won't surprise you, but maybe it will. But before I start, I have to ask you a question. Is it wrong of me to ask you if you're serious about finding out what is meant by spirituality? Because the only way you're going to know and know that you know for sure what I'm saying is true for you is to stop, drop, and know. Stop scrolling through YouTube looking for answers. Drop your awareness of what's going on around you and direct it within yourself to hear your own truth as I say what I have to share so you know if what I'm saying rings true for you, feels right for you. Because that's the essential first step. Because cultivating that knowing is the first step to truly understanding what is meant by spirituality. Welcome to Spirit 360 Fellowship, where we offer spiritualist guidance and classes to help you rediscover spirit, find your life's purpose, and live happily ever after. We do this by applying scientific methodology to spiritual practices, so you develop on command displayable psychic and healing abilities to change your life and the life of those around you. Welcome. If you would like an invitation to our interactive online service where we meditate, do some healing, and offer messages to those in attendance, visit our website at spirit360.org. There'll be a link in the description below. As we ponder this question, what is meant by spirituality, there are three things we need to understand, three things we need to look at. The first being the realm of spirit, the second being the language of spirit, and the third being your own personal individual breakthrough. As we look at the realm of spirit or the spirit realm, there's a key aspect that most people miss. They talk over it, they know the words, but they haven't directly experienced it. And it's a carryover from having an external God, something beyond you, outside of you, directing you, controlling you, having your back, and making sure that you get what you want. So the biggest, most important aspect of understanding spirituality is to have a direct connection, a direct experiential understanding of your own spirit that part that is you, the part that lives after you die, your spirit self. That's part of the spirit rediscovery process. Because the source of intuition, the source of your knowing, the source of your life, if you will, because a body without a spirit will no longer live, it will perish, is your spirit self. You see, after you die, your spirit continues to live. That spirit is the house or the body for your mind or your consciousness, the collective you that has evolved many, many, many lifetimes. Many of you consider yourselves and are old souls, meaning you've had over 30, 25 or 30 lifetimes as human beings, countless lifetimes as lesser animals. The spirit realm is also that part of you that allows you to have out-of-body experiences and makes healing possible. So the first aspect is what is meant by spirituality is to understand and own and be able to on command connect with your own spirit self, your own intuition, to see beyond the delusions of your outward senses, to perceive those things spiritual, the energetic realm, the realm of virtually anything being possible once we train our brains to get the heck out of the way. And if you're like most people, from time to time, you've had random 
accesses to information that you should not have had, that make no logical, rational sense, but somehow you knew. You knew that you knew. You're driving along and all of a sudden you get a sense that you need to change lanes or you need to stop short or stay a little bit longer at a stop sign. You meet someone for the first time and somehow you know, regardless of how hot they are, that this isn't the one. Somehow you get a sense that someone you love is in jeopardy or in a good mood or very happy. So you have access to this information from the spirit realm randomly and from time to time. What is meant by spirituality is access to that information. What is meant by spiritual growth is accessing that information from the spirit self, from the spiritual realm on command. That's what we do. Next is the language of spirit, or I call this the psychic realm. And what I mean by psychic is that it's information that comes not from your outward senses, your physical senses, but from some other source. This other source, as we looked at just a minute ago, is your spirit self, your spirit you. Sometimes your spirit guides and teachers. So all mediums, people who communicate with spirit, are psychic, but not all psychics are mediums. What that means is simply this. Our mind, the part that lives after we die, once it incarnates into a physical body, has to be constrained by the brain's capabilities. Spiritual growth and spiritual development and spiritual training and meditation and specific scientifically based practices allow you to train your brain to get out of the way so your mind can perceive information from your spirit self and sometimes your spirit guides and teachers. So the language of spirituality is psychic, is ESP, which can be extended with specific training to include communication with spirit guides and teachers and loved ones. We call this mediumship. So the language of spirit is psychic. How do you develop your psychic abilities? Well, that's where the scientific methodology comes in because you can train yourself to become aware of information coming from your spirit self. You see, you've got two different tracks going on in this physical body, this animal body. You've got the, the physiological training for survival. Fight, flight, or freeze. You've all heard about that. But you've also got your intuitive knowing, that softer self, that that self and, and part of you that you can't necessarily explain, but you know and you know that you know, even though sometimes you don't know how you know what's going to happen. Being able to train and develop yourself to quiet the brain enough to allow the mind to access your intuition is spiritual mastery. It's your ability to control the beast, the body, the physical you, to such an extent it does what you ask it to do on command. Now, this seems to be somewhat easy in the physical realm. You can train yourself to jog. You can train yourself to play an instrument. You can train yourself to do yoga. Twist yourself in pretzels if you want to. On the spiritual self, most people simply think about spirituality. They don't perceive or think that spirituality is a learned skill or a skill set which we call the psychic arts, the healing arts. That is all entirely possible with the proper training. And that's what we do at Old Soul Academy, is we give you the training you need to excel as psychics and healers. The problem for most people is it's not an overnight process. I can't just teach you how to throw a switch and have access to all the psychic information in the psychic realm all the time you'd go mad. More importantly, it's imperative that you understand the subtle difference between your thinking and your intuition. It is so subtle. But you also have to develop and learn to trust that intuition. 
There are so many myths and superstitions about evil spirits and what can happen when you leave your body, what can happen if you delve into the spirit realm. We have to help you develop over time experiences that build your confidence and your knowing so you will be able to discern the difference between an overactive imagination and what's happening through the spirituality and the spirit realm. The last aspect is your personal breakthrough, your own personal, spiritual, individual experience. And this is the part where your life purpose and living happily ever after happens. So if you're still here and everything I talked about with the spiritual realm and the the psychic realm feel right, have a ring of truth to it, the process for you to have a personal individual breakthrough that is meaningful for you, that serves your life purpose for incarnating and what you want to experience this go around is all that matters. And here's the problem. You can't read it in a book. You can't even watch it on a YouTube video. God's not going to do it for you. Neither is spirit, neither is the universe. It's your own individual personal connection within yourself to find and understand that truth, that one truth for you. Spirituality and spiritual growth and the meaning of spirituality is simply this. Allowing yourself to live a life incorporating information from your spirit realm, which you gather through your psychic abilities, which then you express in this thing called your life. That's the meaning of spirituality that you find your own truth and learn to express that truth in your day-to-day living. You exemplify your values. You exemplify your beliefs. You're able to express yourself in such a way, with such an integrity, with such a congruence, that you're a whole being, mind, body, and spirit, aligned, following the path you incarnated to bring about this lifetime, connecting with others that you are attracted to, allowing yourself to experience the beauty and grandeur of this physical experience that we are going through, allowing yourself to just do you. That's the meaning of spirituality. Now, this either rings true or it doesn't. If it doesn't, you probably aren't even here. But if it does, I ask you again. Do you disagree that there's more to life than meets the eye? Your answer reveals whether or not spirituality is something you get from a religion or a book or something you go within to unveil, to rediscover your spirit. to connect with and know your life purpose that allows you to create an experience that has you live happily ever after. Because that's what we're here for, is to experience life, the part of life we can't figure out any other way than a direct experience in the physical realm. If you found this information useful, give us a thumbs up. Let us know we're doing a good job. Be sure down in the comments to ask me any questions you got, any yeah, buts, any concerns, anything I can help you understand more thoroughly. And if you're ready to rediscover your spirit, really find your life's purpose and live happily ever after, consider subscribing to our channel. There's a red button below me, or you can click my picture. Below my picture, you'll find our other spiritualist church services that you can peruse through and see what else we're talking about. And until next time, My highest blessings.